morning. My name is um, Dewi Yusuf, and um, Jesus is the love of my life. I'm going to share about um, God's amazing uh, grace upon my life. My mom was the first in my family to become a Christian, and my dad followed two years after. And um, when I saw the beautiful changes in their life, I so much wanted to be that kind of Christian too. You know, we were born as Christians, but we were Christian Katepe. And um, so I started going to church. And one, one Sunday, there was an altar call who wanted to give their life to Jesus. And I didn't all understand it very well. But, you know, I told my mom, Mom, I think I want to go up. And she was sitting at the end of the row, I remember. And, and um, she said, Dewey, I think you're a bit too young. I don't think you understand what this really means. And so she didn't really want to let me go out. And so I just went from the other side and <laughs> went up anyways. And um, so that was when I was 12 years old. And I gave my heart to Jesus. And I, um, I knew I had entered in to a covenant relationship with my Father in heaven and through Jesus Christ. So I grew as a Christian. I was very much in love with, with the Lord. And um, I went to church every Sunday. But uh, towards um, the end of my teenage years, um, I started drifting away from God. And I had a lot of questions that you know, I was dealing with. And... Um, I started to date, so my focus was very much on my boyfriend. And yeah, so, well, um, left for college, left home for college. And in college, I um, practically stopped going to church at all and drifted even further away from God and um, spiraled very fast into sinful and, and selfish living. And um, yeah, uh, a lot of partying and, and doing all the things I said I would never do. Yeah, but it was out of my control. So I graduated anyways after four years, came back home, and um, worked in Singapore for a, for a while. And um, God just allowed something to happen uh, in my life that was very difficult, and it came very, very unexpected. And um, it was a very stressful time for me and, and very hard. And um, I felt very... Hopeless, I must say. Hopeless and very much in despair. And um, so um, to deal with the stress, my parents sent me off to Germany and said, why don't you clear your mind and think, sort of get yourself together, what do you want to do with your life and all that. So I was sent off to live with my brother in Germany and there was a small room that was sort of attached to the main house where my brother and his family was living. And there in that room, I... Um, I cried and cried and cried and I didn't stop crying. And um, at one point I cried out to God. And uh, God heard my cry and he met me there. And he just loved on me, you know, and that love that I experienced there and that grace, I can't describe it to you. And um, so I wrestled with God there. You know, it was a time where I was just alone with God and because my brother was busy with his own family. They, he just had started a young family. So I wrestled with God. I wrestled out my situation with God. And, and um, I realized that how much I had sinned against God. And, and so I, I repented and I asked God to forgive me. And he just loved more on me again. And uh, so I just re-surrendered my life to him. And, um, but I can't explain the grace that I felt at that time because I had known Jesus and I had sort of like, you know, um, well, not walk away, but sort of like distance myself from him. And I just want you to sort of understand what a little bit of what that grace and that love of Jesus felt like in my life. And I want to read something out of Ezekiel so you sort of have an idea. It's out of Ezekiel 16. Um, actually, I don't have my glasses now. It's out of Ezekiel 16.6, and it says here, 
Then I passed by and saw you kicking about in your blood. As you lay there in your blood, I said to you, live. And I made you grow like a, pl like a plant of the field. You grew up and developed and became the most beautiful of jewels. Later I passed by and I spread the corner of my garment over you and covered your nakedness. And I gave you my solemn oath and eternal and entered into a covenant with you, declares the sovereign Lord. And I bathe you with water and wash the blood from you and put ointment on you and I clothe you with an embroidered dress and put leather sandals on you. I adorned you with jewelry. I put bracelet on your arm and a necklace around your neck and a beautiful crown on your head. And so you were adorned with gold and silver and you became very beautiful. You see, if you, when you read that, you know it's like, beauty out of ashes and I didn't deserve that I really didn't deserve God's grace at that time you know and um, I realized that God had used that difficult circumstance in my life to bring him back to draw me back to him because he never had forgotten about me you know he didn't forget about the covenant he made with me when I was 12 years old yeah actually it says here in Ezekiel 60 Yet I will remember the covenant I made with you in the days of your youth, you know. And um, I'm forever grateful that God um, lavished his grace on me, you know. Really, it was literally like I was in the corner. I was covered in dirt and covered in shame and covered in sin. And God just took me and he held me and he caressed me. And he washed me with his blood and he cleansed me and he made me beautiful again and gave me hope. And um, I'm just overwhelmed by his grace. Yeah. And um, um, just made me beautiful again, you know. And um, I just felt like he took me and he, he kissed me and he smelled me and said, Oh, you're back in my arms and you're so beautiful. And, Laughed on me some more and laughed on me some more and laughed on me some more. And it's just amazing. And um, so if I say Jesus is the love of my life, yeah, he's the love of my life forever. Even when we are not faithful, he remains faithful. And he will never, ever break his covenant relationship with us. Never, ever will he leave us. All glory to God. to stand with us on this list. Standing on this mountain town, looking just how far we've come, knowing that for every step you were with us. Kneeling on this battleground, seeing just how much you've done, knowing every victory was your power in us. Scars and struggles on the way, but with joy our hearts can say, yes our hearts can say, never once will we ever walk alone, never once did you leave us on our Joy our hearts can say, yes, our hearts. 